All those boxes in your data center, they're connected. That's the simple but brilliant insight that led Eric Dahl to develop the Xenos Live model. Let's look at the model, learn how it's built and maintained, and understand the value that it provides. The Live model automatically discovers relationships within a monitored element, like a process running an operating system or a VM running in a VMware farm. And it discovers connections between monitored elements, like a VM has a guest operating system, a data store LUN is connected to a storage array. It works very well to help IT operations efficiently solve problems and understand resource usage. Every time you add a device like a router or a subsystem like a UCS domain to a Xenos installation, you're adding to the model of your data center. The model is built automatically using the same protocols we use for monitoring. It's also maintained automatically, updated when change events are received and on a regular schedule where there aren't any change events. This automatic build and maintain is a primary difference between Xenos and many other systems. Let's take a look at the model in the Xenos user interface. Here are model elements for this Linux server. When a server is added to a Xenos installation, the modeler discovers its components down the left-hand side here. Different devices have different components. This Linux server has network routes, interfaces, OS processes, file systems, IP services, and processor components. Looking at the IP services, we spot the network time service. How many NTP servers do you have in your data center? Thanks to the model, that's an instant answer. Click and we see that we have eight NTP servers running. That's more than most people, but we're a development shop. The model maintains a relationship between components and devices and lets us navigate quickly either way. We can answer, is this server running NTP? As quickly as we can answer, where is NTP running? The relationship between IP service and Linux server is a simple one. For a VMware farm, the model is quite a bit more complex with many familiar components. The VMware model also features an extensive set of relationships between components. This VM component shows all the virtual machines in this small farm. Each VM has relationships to a virtual data center, a resource pool, and an ESX host. The model tracks that for you. And three of the VMs have relationships to a guest device. The guest is the operating system running in the VM, and if Xenos is monitoring the operating system, it establishes a relationship between the VM and its guest operating system. If you're looking at a VM and its farm and wonder what's going on in the guest operating system, just click the link to follow the relationship. The model makes it very easy to cross technology silos. Now let's turn to a Nexus 5000 and its components. The model also tracks relationships between logical elements, like a VLAN, and the layers of physical elements that support it, Ethernet interfaces, port channels, etc. Knowing relationships helps operators know which system administrator to call for help. It helps administrators get to the root cause of an incident faster, and managers improve the efficiency of their team and of their infrastructure resources. Converged infrastructures like FlexPod and VBlock really make the model shine. When you're buying a converged infrastructure, it looks like one vendor is delivering a complete package. But when it comes time to operate it, you discover that it's really multiple vendors with separate tools, and it's just hard to solve problems. Dynamic views are one way that Xenos uses the model to turn the separate devices in a converged infrastructure back into a coherent whole. Here we can see exactly which infrastructure devices are supporting this particular server. In 2009, our customers asked for the next step. They shared whiteboard drawings showing application services, and groups of related objects, and asked us to make an on-demand model. We delivered the service impact feature in 2010 that provided what customers were asking for. 
the ability to make intelligent understanding of the performance and availability of a complex application like this one with multiple VLANs, redundant front-end servers, and more. Now, that's more than a simple status roll-up. Over the past several years, we've improved the model to enable customers to define Xeno service models for these complex applications. The relationships in the live model provide a complete view of the infrastructure supporting each application, and customers can find and resolve issues faster with model-driven root cause analysis. With customers having hundreds or even thousands of application services, We've had great success using the Xenos platform APIs to integrate service impact with orchestrators and provisioning tools to automatically turn application definitions into production impact services, keeping up with front-end automation tools and enabling the live model to truly be live. In fact, the live model helps make contextual data available to all of the integrations that Xenos customers use every day. The live model drives the most important customer benefits of the Xenos platform, and it's worth getting to know. Thank you.